I know. All right, watch. Kobe! Sweet shot, bro. Whatever, man. I, uh, you might want to clean this mess up before someone slips, you know? <laughs> I understand that, Roger. I'm compiling the fiscal report now. I'll have it for you by tonight. Okay. What's all this? The quarterly reports. The board needs them ready by five today. <sighs> okay, I'll find a way to get it done. You know, maybe you should take a day or two off, recharge your batteries. <sighs> Wouldn't that be nice? I haven't had a day off in years, but I can't take one now. With how fast we're going, I need to be here. You're pushing yourself too hard. It comes with a job. The better the company does, the better off all 2,000 of our employees are. That's what matters to me most, taking care of our people. You didn't eat again, didn't you? I'm too busy. Well, you should take five and eat something. You're not good to anyone if you starve to death. <sighs> Yeah, I, I love that movie. It is so good. Which one was it again? No, I can't remember the name of it. Oh my God. What is that smell? Seriously, has this guy ever heard of deodorant? Listen, I refuse to sit in here with that stench filling up my nostrils. That's gross. Yeah, look, guy, can you get up and leave the room? You're killing us. Oh, it's disgusting. Come on. So sorry. Did you bathe last night? You know, I've worked here for two years and I've never seen the CEO leave his office. He just sits there all day collecting checks off of our hard work. Must be nice. Seriously. I wish I could sit on my butt all day letting everyone else do the hard work. Tell me about it. <laughs> you mind if I sit? Um, uh, of course you can. Sorry about the smell. No worries at all. Oh. You okay? Ah, oh, it's just my back. This job is murder on the joints. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm grateful for the job and I love it. But each morning I wake up worse than the night before. It's exhausting. <laughs> What's the chuckle? I don't mean to be rude, but... No, never mind. What is it? It's okay. It's just, if you feel like your job is exhausting, you should try and walk a mile in my shoes. Every second of every day is spent making critical decisions that can make or break the company. The stress of having the fates of 2,000 employees hanging on every choice I make is mentally draining. Um, no disrespect. Sounds stressful, sure, but it's nothing compared to physical labor. See what your back feels like after eight hours of sweeping, mopping, cleaning, carrying out trash. You'd be begging to be back in your comfy office chair before lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, try answering to a board of directors who second guess your every move. But you can't question them. Even when they're wrong, you'll be reprimanded. Try spending all day scrubbing toilets after Taco Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's clear we won't settle whose job is harder this way. No, we're not. Unless... Ah. <laughs> Unless what? No, oh, nothing. It's silly. No, come on. I'm dying to know now. <laughs> it's like my abuela used to say. <sighs> the only way to know how hard somebody's job is, is to do it yourself. So we switch places for a day. Okay, let's do it. Are you serious? Sure, just for a day. The company's so big, I bet no one would even notice. Okay, I'm in. I've always wondered what it'd be like to be CEO of a company. <laughs> so how do we do this?
I think she bought it. You ready to go? This is going to be a cakewalk. What's all this? Last week's sales report. You have to have them double checked and signed by the end of the day. But there's gotta be like a thousand pages here. How am I supposed to get all that done by then? That's for you to figure out. You're the acting CEO after all. This isn't so bad. Uh, what are you staring at? This mess isn't gonna clean itself up. I'm sorry I ever said your job was easy. Huh. Mm. I don't know how you read that much without going blind. After seeing what you have to endure every day, I think you might have been right. Your job is not easy in the slightest. Does that mean I can go back to my old job tomorrow? Only if I can go back to mine. <laughs> I heard the CEO took a day off yesterday. Can you believe that? What does he need a day off? His job's so easy. <laughs> You'd be surprised how difficult the CEO's job really is. Hey, no one's talking to you, Mr. Janitor. Come on, let's go get some smoothies. I heard what you said. Thank you for defending me. <laughs> it's just the truth. If anybody knows how hard your job is, it's me. <laughs> Well, go on. You better clean that up before someone important sees it. <laughs> uh, keep enjoying your lunch. Who do you think you are talking to this man like that? He's not your servant. He's your coworker. Uh, no, he's a janitor. And who do you think you are? I'm the CEO of this company and your boss. And I'm going to be having a very frank discussion with your manager about how you treat others in this company. Uh, no need. Here, look. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, we got this. You two just enjoy your luck. <laughs> hey, get your dirty hands off my wife. Relax, honey. This is just Adam. I told you about him. We used to date back in school. Hmm. Years before we met. No way. Can you imagine you dating a janitor? <laughs> oh, you're serious? Nice to meet you. Uh-huh. So, you're working here now? Started last week. 
So I'm paying you to grope my wife. Bruce! Don't Bruce me. Your man's not here to be your hug buddy. He's here to do a job. You do realize that part of my job in our company My is company? Is customer relations. I was seeing our newest clients out when I ran into Adam. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be late for our dinner reservation. We should be going, OK? It's good catching up with you, Adam. Yeah, really nice. You missed a spot. <laughs> I can't believe you used to date a janitor. Your standards must have been way lower before we met. Now, why do you always do that? Judge a person based on their occupation. Because 99.9% .9 of the time, it's an accurate gauge of a person's net worth. And that guy has losers stamped on his forehead. Actually, Adam's not a loser. He was a really great guy when we were dating. In fact, the only reason we split up is because he moved out of town. A blessing in disguise. If you'd wound up with that guy, you'd be married to a janitor instead of a very rich, very good-looking CEO. Or maybe with my help, Adam would have went on to become a successful CEO and you would have wound up the janitor. Ever think of that? <laughs> that would never happen in a million years. In this world, there are winners and there are losers. And unlike your pal, Adam, I'm a winner. You seem to forget that when we first met, you were not a CEO. You were a window washer earning minimum wage. I was working on my MBA program. You didn't even apply to get your MBA until I pushed you. Yeah, well, you wouldn't have pushed me unless you wanted the kind of lifestyle that we have now. No, I did it because I believed in you and your dreams. Yeah, I believed in you and your dreams. The only person responsible for my success is me. So me being senior manager and being with you since day one, helping you build that company means nothing to you? Do you even hear yourself? You didn't help build my company. All you did was ride in my coattail. That is so not true. And I let you ride it because it kept you busy with work rather than out there spending my money on who knows what. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. I built all of this. Everything you have is because of me. I am so tired of you belittling me. After everything that I have done for you over the course of our relationship, it's rude and unfair. Don't blame me. You know what kind of man you were getting when you married me. Well, I guess I was hoping that you would change, but clearly you never will. Where do you think you're going? Away from you. I want a divorce. I cannot be with a man who treats me like I'm some sort of accessory to his life. <laughs> Give me a break. You're not leaving me. Oh, really? And why not? Because we signed a prenup. And if you leave, all of this lifestyle that I created for you will disappear. No more fancy house, no more fancy cars, no more fancy clothes. Do you think that I am with you for the money? I don't need or want your money. I was with you because I loved you once. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Nobody believes you, least of all me. Fine. Just run back to the janitor. See how that works out for you, sweetheart. Over the ensuing year, Things did not go smoothly for the newly single Bruce. Try as he might, Bruce was unable to run his business as efficiently without his wife by his side. Not only was Nicole a loving and supporting partner, she was the best customer relations manager and a key part of their company's success. Less than 10 months after his wife left, Bruce had run his one successful company into the ground. Due to his ruined reputation in the industry, it was hard for Bruce to find a new job. In fact, the only jobs he could even get interviews for were janitorial positions. 
After months of searching, Bruce finally found a company that was willing to give him an interview. Nicole? What are you doing here? This is my new company. I started it last year. Your company? How? Turns out, after all those years of working at your company, I was able to build a really fantastic network of clients. Once they heard that I was on my own, they flocked to me. You stole my clients? No. They chose to leave you and follow me. I didn't even have to poach them. You look a mess, Bruce. What happened to you? I lost the company, and my house, and pretty much everything in my life fell apart the moment you walked out the door. I'm sorry to hear that. Truly. No, I'm the one who should be apologizing to you. I took you for granted. I treated you poorly. Anyway, I've been thinking about you a lot recently and how maybe we should give our relationship another try. Bruce, that is not gonna happen. No, look, I know I messed up in the past, but that was then. I I'm a new man now. I need you beside me to rebuild my life again. I'm married. To whom? Are you interviewing the new janitor without me? Bruce. Um, it's good to see you again. After we split up, I reconnected with Adam. And even though it had been years, it felt like home. So what, you called me in here just to humiliate me then? Not at all. I picked out your application blindly because you had previous cleaning experience. I didn't even notice the name. We're seriously trying to fill this position. Well, get someone else. Bruce, remember before we split up, I had mentioned that with my support, Adam might have become a successful CEO and you might have become a janitor. Guess I was right after all. You need to get all of this cleaned up super fast. You hear me? Not like last week. Um, Maggie? It's Miss. Miss Maggie. I was hoping I could talk to you about getting a raise. A raise? Or maybe just an advance. You see, my son, he's he's really sick and he, he really wants to go to Disneyland. And Did I ask to hear your sob story? And the answer is no. But it would just be no an buts. advance. It's not as if this job is difficult. Good. Now stop wasting my time and get to work. Hi, honey. How's the cleaning going? It's hard work, but I'm managing. I am really, really proud of you, Maggie. I'll see you later tonight. You have less than two hours to finish cleaning! You hear me? Yes, miss, I'll get it done. Oh, don't forget, you still have to clean my room and my mom's. Not bad. Hi, sweetie. I just called to tell you I'm going to be a few minutes late. Wait, are you where I think you are? <laughs> I sure am. I just signed the paperwork for your 16th birthday present. Believe it, you're the best mom ever. <coughs> uh, what was that? What was what? I heard somebody call. Do you have people over? Oh, that was just the TV. Um, well, I better get back to it if I'm gonna have this place all clean and sparkly by the time you get home. Sorry, miss. Just take your money and go. Thank you. Now. Bye. So hard to find good help. Hi, honey. 
Wow. This place looks amazing, Maggie. Yeah, I know. I slaved away all day on it. Well, a deal is a deal. So here's your money, sweetheart. You earned it. You know, when you told me you were going to clean the house every week, well, I have to admit, I didn't think you would do it. But here we are, three months later. I am so very, very proud of you. Aw, thanks, Mom. It's hard work, but I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Miss, I'm so sorry to bother you. What are you doing here? Are you trying to get me in trouble? No, no, no. The best I take to normally get home broke down. And my son is waiting for me back home, and I didn't know where else to go. Literally anywhere but here. If my mother sees you, then she's... Hi. Is everything okay? Uh, this crazy lady just knocked on our door in tears talking about her bus broke down. Yeah, I know it's inappropriate, but your house is the only house I know in this neighborhood, and I didn't know where else to turn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How do you know our house? She's crazy, Mom. Don't listen to her. I've been coming here to clean it for the past three months. Please, come in. You, you young lady, on the couch. How could you have lied to me like that? And for three months, no less. And you're only paying Linda $50. I'm paying you $500 for the exact same job. Oh, give me a break. It's not like I committed a crime. I hired a lady to clean the house, big whoop. It's not like it's a hard job. Anyone can do it. You have no idea what you're talking about. You have never worked one day in your life, young lady. Whatever. Oh, no, whatever me. You have no clue to how hard somebody's job is until you do it yourself. Yeah, well, then it's a good thing we're rich. That way I'll never have to find out. <gasps> Linda, could you use some help around the house? Sure. But I'm a single mother. I can't afford that. I understand. But that's not a problem. Because I will pay you $1,000 to let Maggie come clean for you. How does that sound? But, <laughs> that sounds amazing. That's crazy. There's no way I'm going to clean her house. Really? Okay, well, if you don't clean her house, then you're not getting your brand new car for your 16th birthday. You wouldn't. Test me and find out. Oh, fine! Hello. You can start cleaning in here, the kitchen, living room next, and... Uh, bathroom down the hall. I'll be in the room with my son while you're cleaning and you won't have to go in there. Okay? Okay. Thank you.
all done. You finished everything? Um, what's wrong with him? Cancer. It's, it's been really tough since his father left us. He couldn't handle the financial pressures, all the medical bills. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. Thank you today for all your help. Um, my mom told me to give this to you. Thank you. You have no idea how much this means to us. I can finally take him to Disneyland. He has been wanting to go for so long. Oh, make sure you leave early to avoid traffic. This drive can take forever. Oh, we're taking public transportation. My husband took the car when he left. Bus is our only option. I've been trying to save for one, but uh, with all the medical bills and the full-time care that my son needs, it's been really hard. I can't get a regular job, so that's why I've been... Cleaning houses. Hey, how was it? Exhausting. Even though her apartment is an eighth of the size of ours, it took me all day to get it clean. I can't believe how fast Linda was able to clean our place. Maggie, have you learned your lesson? Actually, Mom, can you help me with something? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so good to see both of you. Oh, I, I wish I could stay in chat, but I gotta catch my bus. You don't need to worry about public transportation anymore. What do you mean? The car is yours. My mom got it for me for my birthday. Oh, no, this can't be true. It is true. It's my way of apologizing for being so awful to you all those months. Besides, you need it more than I do. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, you have no idea what this means to me. And Linda, my company has an opening that I think you would be perfect for. You can work from home, and they have a great health care plan. Oh my goodness, this is just too much. I don't know what to say. Say yes. Mom, can we please go? I want to see Mickey Mouse already. Oh, my baby, I'm so sorry for making you wait. Let's go. Let's go. Go on. for me. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> I am very, very proud of you. <laughs> no ticket, no party. Go take that family dollar dress and go pound some twisted tees, man. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay, no one is complaining about two beautiful women at a party. Listen, you got two options, right? Uh -huh. You can leave them or call the cops. Which one are you going to be? Oh, it's okay. Uh, they're with me. They're with you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Laura, don't waste your time on this dude. I just wanted to say thank you for helping us get in. We appreciate it. Sure. <laughs> uh, duh. Don't follow us. Uh, 
Pick it up. <laughs> he just helped us get in and you were so rude to him. Didn't you see how he was dressed? He's probably like some low level loser. Now let's go. Stop fidgeting. You have to look like you belong or they'll kick us out. But I don't belong. I don't even want to be here. I'd rather be doing something fun. Look, we need it to be here. I mean, what a better place to find a rich guy than a movie premiere after party. A man being rich doesn't matter to me. I just want someone who loves and cares about me because that's what matters most. With that attitude, you'll end up with a broke loser. <gasps> Probably will live with his mother. Dibs. He's all yours. <laughs> uh, can I buy you a drink? I'd love that. I'm Amy. Hunter. Gilead? It's a, it's a story about... The dying preacher in the small town of Gilead, Iowa. How do you know that? It's one of my favorites. I read that book at least a hundred times. Wow, I... I don't think I've ever met anyone who enjoys books more than I do. Mind if I join you? No, I mean, yes. I mean, no. Yeah, please. Uh, what's the deal with your friend? She does not like me at all. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't really call her my friend. We work together and she convinced me to come out with her. If I would have known we were gonna sneak into a party, I would have just stayed home. You're not into parties? Oh gosh, no. I hate them, actually. For me, I would rather just be home and, you know, watching a movie or catching up with my books. Sorry, I know that's kind of boring. No. No, 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 it's not, it's not at all. I think it's really hard to find someone that appreciates the, the little things. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even tell the first line, are you okay? Here, I have a, I have a napkin. Oh my gosh, Did yeah. it come up here now? Are you all right? Just a little. I didn't, I'm sorry. Excuse me, just. We need to talk. But I'm talking to you now. Okay. Great. Why are you talking to that guy? He looks like an off-duty waiter. I don't care if he's a waiter. He's nice and funny and we have a lot in common. You need a guy like Hunter, somebody who can support you. Like, he is gonna have a nice house, a fancy car, somebody who can provide for you. Don't you want that? How do you know he can provide? You just met him. Look at his suit. It's designer. Our appearance is all you care about. You know the saying, you can't judge a book by, by its cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much, little miss librarian. Whatever, okay? If you want to waste your night with that loser, be my guest. Absolutely incredible. Wow, well, I really appreciate that. Thank you for your support. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. All right. Hey. Uh, thank you for saving me. From what? Uh, nothing. Um, do you want to sit back there? Uh, sorry. Do you want to sit, um, over there? Yeah, sure. Okay. After you. Why is everyone staring? Um, because... Because you are so beautiful. Are you an actress? Gosh, no. Amy is. That's one of the reasons why she wanted to come tonight. Hmm. So what do you do for work then? I'm a third grade teacher. Wow. 
That's that's a new one. <laughs> what? You don't meet many teachers at these industry parties? No, I can't say that I do. No. <laughs> shocking. So shocking. <laughs> so if if you don't want to be here, what would you rather be doing? Probably something chill, like mini golf or bowling. You know, things like that. I have not been bowling in years. Seriously? Do you want to go? I mean, I can't guarantee I'll knock down any pins, but do you want to? <laughs> This is probably the best offer I've had all night. I just gotta say goodbye to Amy first. Right. He goes, Amy, these are the two main actors from the film. <laughs> Yo, your guys' kissing scene was fire. Like, you have to be dating in real life, right? We gotta go. We're sorry. <laughs> yeah. Your friends weren't very polite. To be honest, I don't really know them that well. What do you mean? You made a movie together. I mean, you should know the stars. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, I was just a PA. You were a what? You know, like production assistant. It's an entry level position, but I'm working my way up. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are uh, you kidding me? Should I get a new one? Can I get you another one? Now I have to pay for a cleaning fee. That's a rental? Oh my gosh. It is an honor, Mr. Bro. Bro, oh, Danny. Just, just Danny. Wait, why is it an honor to meet just Danny? Mr. I mean, Danny is the executive producer of this film. He's the one that funded everything. Here, Daniel Rich. It's Danny. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so forgetful when I'm nervous. Sorry. You should have told me that you were a big time producer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like books too. <laughs> and just so you know, there's nothing going on between Hunter and I. We're just friends. <laughs> Sir, <clears throat> so sorry. Could you please escort Abby out of the venue? I don't believe she belongs here. Uh, uh, hey, it's Amy, not Abby. Shall we go? Only if you're ready to lose. <laughs> okay. Hey, so uh, do you want to come back to my place? I mean, we would have to be quiet because I promised my mom that I wouldn't wake you her up. You still uh, live with your mom? Um... Of course you do. Um, do you mind using this cup? Thank you. I have to clean this all up, so if you could please... Do you know who my dad is? Um, no. Mm. <laughs> well, he's Judge Sanders. So, I can do whatever I want. I don't think your dad would like sunflower seeds all over his courtroom. Oh, then, do your job. Clean them all up, okay? You know, I don't want to have to tell your father about this. If you even try, you are going to regret it. Judge Sanders, hi. Um, your son has been spitting sunflower seeds all over the floor, even though I have asked him not to. Jason, is this true? Mm, no, they must have accidentally spilled. I was, I was using this cup. He's lying. I gave him that cup and he's been refusing to use My it. My boy would not do something like that. And he's certainly not a liar. But- If there's one thing I'm certain of, is that people are innocent until proven guilty. So unless you can prove that my son did this intentionally, I would suggest you do your job. Yes, sir. Today should only take about an hour. Afterwards, you wanna go get some pizza? Don't worry about it at all, Dad. I'm just reading this book, so uh, take as much time as you need. Tanya, what is she doing here? Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetheart. Mom.
I cannot wait to see the look on her face. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> hey, look, the school's future toilet cleaner has arrived. <laughs> Did you do this? Maybe. You know, since your mom is a janitor, you should have no problem cleaning this all up. Oh, while you're at it, almost forgot to mention, you should probably freshen up the bathrooms, too. If you need any help, you can always call your mom. <laughs> Good morning, class. Okay, today we're gonna prepare for your career day presentations, which are due tomorrow. Now, each of you will get five minutes to present what you wanna be when you grow up. Yes, Jason. Um, is it okay if we choose the same things that our, our parents are? Because I want to be a judge like my dad. Of course. That's fine. Great. Great. Psst. So, it's fine if you let everyone know that you're gonna be a toilet cleaner like your mom. <laughs> Stop it! Hmm, let me think about it. Nah, nah, I'd rather not. <laughs> you know, it must suck to be so poor that your mom has to pick up other people's garbage for a living. I'm serious, Jason. Just leave me alone. All right, all right. Fine, I will. Just do me a, a favor. Uh, when your mom gets here, have her clean all this up, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> Tanya! Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's your guys' ride? Where's your mom buy her car the junkyard? My, my dad drives a Porsche. I wouldn't be caught dead getting picked up in that piece of crap. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Later, loser. <laughs> hey, honey, how was school? Was that boy giving you a hard time? I don't want to talk about it. Can we just go, please? Listen, sweetheart. I don't want you listening to anything he has to say, all right? He is not a nice person. Mom, because you're a janitor, does that mean I'm going to be one, too? No. No, sweetheart. Unless you want to be. OK? And there's nothing wrong with being a janitor. But you can be anything you want to be, OK? regardless of what anyone says to you, okay? Hey. Abby? Right. About the other day, are you sure about what you saw, you know, with my boy? He was purposely spitting seeds on the ground and telling me to clean them up. I just have a hard time believing that Jason is such a good kid. I don't know, but I saw what I saw. And it's not only that. He's been giving my daughter Tanya a hard time at school and throwing trash at her and telling her all she'll ever be in life is a janitor. You're sure she was talking about my son? If you want to stop by the school, I'm sure he'll find all the proof you need. <laughs> hey, Tanya, um, right on time. Listen, I feel bad about being mean to you the other day. It's fine. No, no, it's not. And that's why I decided to help you on your presentation by creating a visual. Check it out. <laughs> this isn't funny, Jason. It says it was meant to be funny. It's the truth. I mean, what'd you think? You're gonna be a doctor? No. Uh, don't tell me. Guys, get this. Janitor girl? think she's gonna be a doctor. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> the only way you'll ever work in a hospital is if you're taking out the trash. Jason! Hey, Dad, uh, what are you doing here? I can't believe what I just heard. Is it Tanya? What? She's skin around. Is she knows I was joking with her, right, Tanya? It doesn't look like she found it very funny. 
Who drew this? Was it you, Jason? Uh... You are in big trouble, young man. I didn't raise you to be like this. Tanya, I'm so sorry. I can't believe my son is acting like this. If you want to be a doctor, I have the absolute confidence that you will be. Mm, they'll give her a false hope, Dad. I mean, her mom is a janitor. What if she is? It's just as hard to be a janitor as it is a judge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you think this is funny? Okay, well, I think it's time maybe you become a janitor too and see. Because you never know how hard someone's job is until you do it yourself. As in you want me to take out the trash. <laughs> Clean toilets. <laughs> yeah, stop playing that. Does it look like I'm playing? I'm serious. As a matter of fact, why don't you start right now? It's either this, or I go talk to the principal and see what better punishment he can come up with. Jason has no choice but to follow his dad's orders. He starts off by having to clean all the toilets. He hates every second of it. To make things worse, while he's cleaning, other kids tease him and make his job even harder. It doesn't take Jason long to see how difficult a janitor's job really is. He starts to regret how he treated Tanya and her mom. And then, a few days later, back in the courtroom, he gets an unexpected visitor. Hey, yo. Is this the courtroom where Judge Sanders is? Yeah. I bet. Hey, Tanya, listen. I don't want to just... hear it, Jason. Okay? I don't need you talking about me or my mom no, or... No, no, no. I, I wasn't going to do that at all. I just... I just want to apologize, okay? I actually, uh... <clears throat> sorry, um, so I was gonna say, I actually have a lot of respect for your mom after I... Uh, okay, um, uh, Ayo, that's not a trash can, man, so pick it up. Yeah, right, man. Would I look like a janitor? No, I'm serious. Their job is hard enough, man. Well, I'm not picking them up. Look, my dad is a judge here. I don't know what you're here for, but after I tell him what happened, he'll probably have you doing community service and picking up trash all over the city to teach you a lesson. Yeah, he wouldn't do that. No, trust me, he would. Okay, because you don't know how hard someone's job is until you have to do it yourself. Oh, come on, man. You gonna pick up those shells or do I have to tell my dad that you spit them all over his floor? All right, all right. Jeez, I'll pick them up. Sorry about that. You know, you'd actually make a pretty good judge one day. Or maybe you'll be the judge. I'll be the janitor. Or I'll be the doctor to save you when you choke on sunflower seeds. Okay. <laughs> I deserve that. Hey. I deserve it. Yeah. D-E-C-I-E-V-E, -E -E, deceive? Wrong. Why do you even bother coming to class, Zane? It's clear you don't study. I do study, Ms. Waters. I just... You're dumb. <laughs> okay, get your exams on your way out. They need to be signed by your parents and returned by Friday. Hey, next time do the reading, dummy. Another F, Zane. Now you need to stop being lazy and actually apply yourself. Zane, if you don't get at least a B on this next test, you will fail seventh grade. I'm not lazy, Ms. Water. Enough excuses. Now get yourself together before it's too late. Now, I don't get how he's in the seventh grade. His parents should have held him back. Yeah. He needs to be in the third grade. 
How's it going, son? I saw what happened in class. Wait, now you probably think I'm dumb, too. No, not at all. You could be honest with me, Mr. Clifford. Teachers at school think I'm dumb. Kids at school, even my parents. It's probably time that I accept it, too. Zane, listen to me. You're not dumb, OK? The problem with school is that it expects everyone to learn the same way. The truth is, we all learn in different ways. You just have to find your truth. I don't even know what that means. Try this. The word you were trying to spell was deceive, right? And you got tricked up on the I and E. Yeah, I always thought I came before E. Right, except after C. Now, that's the rule to remember. And it's easy because it rhymes. I before E, except after C. So, deceive is spelled D-E-C. E-I-V-E? <laughs> Bingo. You got it. Now, that's the trick. It's called a mnemonic device. Or a tool to help you remember. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Clifford. I will never forget that. <laughs> I before E, except after C. I before E, except after C. Mr. Van Dyke thinks I'll get an A plus in AP Calculus, which means I'll be a shoo-in for a valedictorian. Wow. We are so proud of you, Brian. Yes, we are. And especially now that you're captain of the chess club, just like your father was when he was your age. Bryant, you make the whole family proud. Zane, you haven't even touched your salad. Sorry, I'm trying to finish my English homework. Zane, you've been working on that same sheet for the past hour. I mean, how hard can it be? Nice. No, I'm not done yet. No, no. This is all wrong. Can you help me understand him? I mean, it's common sense. We can talk about this after dinner. I don't want the chicken to get cold. Now, finish your salad, Zane. What do you think you're doing? Eating my salad? Not with that, you're not. That is your entree fork for the chicken. Now, use your salad fork. Sorry. Did I do something else wrong? Your napkin. And what are you doing with your backpack hanging on the back of the chair? This is not the lunch cafeteria. What's this? Did you fail another test? Oh, you have got to be joking. Zane, you are the son of two USC PhDs. Do you know how embarrassing this is? Why can't you be more like your brother, Bryant? He gets all A's and A pluses. I, I don't know who. I'm sorry, guys. That's all you have to say is that you're sorry? You know, if he doesn't pass seventh grade, we're going to be the laughing stock of the community. Mm-hmm. Imagine what all our friends at the country club will think of us. B-I-C-Y-C-L-E. Bicycle. That is correct, Jamie. Great job. All right, for our next word, let's do necessary. Zane? This should be good. Necessary. N E C C? Wrong. Again. It has one C. How do you not know that when that is the word that was assigned in last night's reading? I know, I just get my letters mixed up sometimes. You know, I had your brother in my class and he got an A plus. I don't know why this is so difficult for you. You know, maybe Zane should be in special ed. <laughs> <laughs> then again, probably can't keep up there either. Knock it off, Amir. Zane, I am trying not to be tough on you but I am having a hard time understanding why you cannot conceive the lesson. Probably can't spell conceive. Well, in all fairness, it is a challenging word. No, it's not. Conceive. C-O-N-C-I-E-V-E. -E. Conceive. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is C-O-N- C-E-I-V-E. -E. Conceive. Yeah, right. Like you can get a word I can't spell. Actually, Zane got it correct. Great job, Zane. 
Maybe there still is hope for you after all. Do. All right. The next word will be... Mom, you should have seen it. I got an ant right in front of the whole class today. Zane, can't you see I'm on the phone? Yes, I want to go all out for Bryant's graduation party. Let's not spare any expense. Mom, you should have seen it. I know, Zane. Yes, I spoke with his AP physics teacher, and she said Bryant's the smartest student she's ever had. Can you believe it? Of course. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. There's something very special about Bryant. Everyone sees it. Yes, our first choice is still Harvard. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Clifford. That makes a lot more sense now. I'll see you tomorrow. You're welcome, Madison. Hey, Zane, how's it going, buddy? Good. Couldn't spell the word necessary in class today, mm. and it was embarrassing. But then our teacher gave us another word, conceive. I used will that you taught me, and it worked. <laughs> so thanks for your help. That's the way to go, son. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, Mr. Clifford. One collar and two sleeves. Sorry? You said necessary was the word you couldn't spell, right? Just remember, for a shirt, it has to have a collar, C, and two sleeves, S, S. N, E, C, E, S, S, A, R, Y. You'll never spell that word wrong again. Wow, that actually makes a lot more sense now. Is that another one of your mnemonic devices? <laughs> mnemonic devices, yes. I have a lot more of them, too, so whenever it's necessary, come and see me. I definitely will. Mr. Clifford, it's okay if I ask you a question? Sure. Why are you a janitor? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But you should be a teacher. You're really good at it. Well, was my dream, but I guess life had other plans for me. Why do you say that? Yeah, I haven't shared this with many people, but I'll tell it to you, okay? I grew up without a father. And my mother, by the time I reached 10, she had completely lost her vision. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. In spite of all that, I had a pretty good childhood. Every night before going to bed, instead of my mom reading me a bedtime story, I was reading him to her. Dr. Seuss, the Hardy Boys. <laughs> it's one of my fondest childhood memories. Not only did I love it, but it ended up being quite the blessing. Because by the time I was in the fifth grade, I was reading on an eighth grade level. Actually? Yeah. And as I grew up, I figured since I enjoyed reading to other people so much, I may as well become a teacher. But unfortunately, it didn't end up working out so well. Why not? I'm sure you can pass all the tests and stuff like that. Well, the test wasn't a problem. The money was. It's not cheap becoming a teacher. You have to get a bachelor's degree. You have to get accredited. You have to take a lot of training. It's long and it's expensive. Besides, I was taking care of my mom full time and just never able to do it. Breaks my heart, too. It was my mom's dying wish that I become a teacher. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Clifford. That's okay. You know, officially, I may not be a teacher, but I figured out a way to help kids. That's why I'm a janitor here. It allows me to still work at the school. And that is a blessing right there. I'm sorry, I don't No, 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 it. it's okay. Zane, what are you doing? Coming. Sorry, Miss Clifford, I gotta go. Yeah, that sounds pretty necessary. N-E-C-E. -E. S-S-A-R-Y. Necessary. One collar and two sleeves. Great job. Way to go. It's okay if I ask you one final question. Go ahead. Ms. Waters says if I don't get at least a B on my next test, I may not go to eighth grade. If it's okay with you, do you mind helping me study for it? I like that very much, Zane. Zane is excited to have someone that can help him learn without making him feel bad. He starts spending a lot of time with Mr. Clifford. Mr. Clifford teaches him all kinds of new tricks to help him learn. Anytime Zane makes a mistake, Mr. Clifford's patient with him and helps him understand. And all that patience pays off. Zane starts doing a lot better in school 
everyone around him is impressed by how far he's come. Well, almost everyone. Even Miss Waters is so surprised with Zane. But the most surprised of all were his parents. Well, how'd it go? He hasn't told me yet. He said he wanted to show us together. Now, Zane, if you didn't get anything higher than a B. I got an A! I got an A! Really? You got an A? You got an A! This is great! <laughs> See, honey? I knew you had it in you. Look at that, honey. Oh, he is our son, after all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you're saying if I don't do well in school, I'm not your son? Like, you're gonna disown me? No, why would you say that? Because that's how you guys treated me. Everyone treated me like I was so dumb and a lost cause. It was bad enough hearing it at school every day, but coming home and hearing it from my own parents too? That hurts a lot. I almost started believing in those things about myself too, but luckily I found someone who helped me believe in that I'm not dumb. I... I just learned differently. Same. All I needed was someone to believe in, in me. But all you all care about was how I made you look bad, bad. And I don't even know where the salad folk goes. Oh, same, honey. Oh. <laughs> we are so, so sorry. We never meant to make you feel that way. She's right. I think we're really, truly sorry. Look, we're going to do better moving forward, okay? Honey, we love you so much. <laughs> Promise that won't happen again. So, tell us who this teacher was. Was it Mrs. Waters? Because we'd like to do something nice for her. Actually, it wasn't a teacher at all. It wasn't? Hey, Zane, how's it going, buddy? Hi, Mr. Clifford. Look, I got an A. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Big old A for awesome. That's what you are, Zane. Thanks, Mr. Clifford. It's all because of you. Hi, it's so nice to meet you, Mr. Clifford. I've heard so much about you. Oh, same here. We want to thank you for helping Zane. He's been struggling for so long, and whatever you're doing has truly made a difference. I can't take the credit. I'm just an old janitor helping out when I can. Well, you might just be a janitor, but according to Zane here, you're the best teacher he's ever had. And I think it's time we make it official. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm not following. We'll, we'll make what official? We're going to be paying for your education, Mr. Clifford. All the requirements. Go become a teacher. Oh, my God. I, I don't know what to say. You know, no one's ever done anything like this for me before. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know my mom is dancing up in heaven right now. Ah, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> the heck, this isn't even a real avocado! Don't get so frustrated. You've still got time. I got this. You can keep cooking. Beautiful mise en place, Monica. Thank you, chef. I've learned from watching your shows. Every good cook has everything in its place. Every good cook has everything in its place, eh? I know you love sweet and salty, so I added an extra few pinches of salt. You're going to love it. I can't wait to try it. Just not too much salt. I don't want to choke to death. <laughs> all right, all done. Do you still need anything? Yeah, an easier recipe. I didn't know it was going to be this hard. Um, well, how did you get into a cooking competition? I know the basics. So don't tell anybody, but I may or may not have sent my dad's food to qualify for this. He's a, he's a master chef. You cheated? It's my only way into culinary school. I'm not good enough on my own, but winning this competition and that prize money will for sure get me in. I... Well, as Jordan Ramsay always says, there are no shortcuts to success. You have to do things the hard way. But the good thing is, you don't have to be the best that makes it to the next round. You just don't have to be the worst. Just can't be the worst. Oh no, my sugar! Hey, 
Here. Can you use mine? Are you sure? Wow, you're the best. Thank you. My pleasure. Hmm. Not bad. A little flat. Sorry, chef. Impressive. These remind me of Mrs. Panucci's Bakery, one of my favorite restaurants. Their macaroons are to die for. <laughs> Thank you, chef. So, what do you think? No, I don't answer that. I already know you think they're the best. Mmm. Way too much baking soda and, and not enough brown sugar. They're not even baked properly. Haven't you ever made cookies before? Uh, yeah. How else do you think I got in the show? Can you stay is the question, because you're definitely in last place. My grand can do better than this, and she's dead. These look delicious. Let's see. Oh! It's like biting into a pink Himalayan salt. I can't even swallow. Water! Now! I don't know what I did wrong. I made them like I always do. I'm so sorry. You got lucky. I was convinced you were the one going home. But after tasting this abomination, I'm sorry, Monica, but you're eliminated from the competition. Wait, no, please. Uh, something went wrong. I, I'm begging you, please, give me another chance. Uh, there are no second chances. Turn in your apron. You are all going on to the next round. No, she was so nice. Oh, well. And cut. Where's my water? Your water, sir. Hey, hey, you were right. I don't have to be the best. I just can't be the worst. You got any more tips? Well, not much. But I'll tell you this. The chef is really sensitive to spice. So avoid that at all costs. Time's almost up. You'd better be getting your dishes ready. Ugh. I won't even eat this. Hey, can I have a favor? What is it? Can I borrow some of your hot sauce? I got a tip that Jordan likes it really spicy. Really? Yeah, I, I think we should work together to get Michael out of the competition. I think he's the best one here. Thanks, let me use some first. Oh, I'd use a lot more than that. I hear he's a really high tolerance. Are you sure? Okay. Thanks for helping me. No worries, I got you. Just in case. And time. Let's see what you guys have got. Pretty good. Not bad, but not great. Now hold on just a sec. All right. This is terrible. The only way I can get this bite down is because of the lime juice. It's almost as bad as your cookies. I don't know how you made it on this show. If this is half as good as your filet you made earlier this season, I know I'll love it. Mm. Oh my gosh, hot, hot, hot. Someone get me a glass of milk pronto. What are you, trying to kill me? You put way too much hot sauce. It's supposed to be a street taco, not an assault on the senses. I thought that you liked hot food. I can't stand spice. I have a sensitive stomach. And this isn't just spicy. This is a four-alarm fire in my mouth. What were you thinking? Uh, I'm sorry, Jenny. It's time to turn in your apron. No, please. 
Jesus. Yeah, you heard him. Get out of here. I don't know what you were thinking with all that hot sauce. You are going to pay for this. What goes around always comes around, Jason. Just wait until I tell my dad. Oh, no, your dad. I'm so scared. I bet he's a doofus, just like you. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Now, we're down to the final two. You both will have one hour to bake the best macaroons you can. Macaroons? But, but those are the hardest to make. Exactly. So do your best and make it count. Begin. Hey, hey, you got any more tips? Sorry, kid. You're on your own for this one. Ooh, careful now. You don't want to overbeat the meringue. The macaroon shells can come out too hollow. Uh, can I have a second chance or something? I'm afraid not. You'll really have to hustle now. Sorry, Chef. We made a huge mistake. We were supposed to take them both into confessionals before the rounds began. So, we're going to pause the timer and get those taken care of real quick. Let's start with you. Follow us to the other set. And you can't work on anything while we're gone. Uh, can I step aside and get some air? I'm hot. Yes, just make it quick. Any advice on how to make macaroons? Yeah, just do what I taught you and everything will be fine. But how do I make sure that... Hey, son, I gotta go. I'm sure you're gonna come up with something, okay? Break an egg. No, 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 wait, wait. Excuse me, I don't know if I'm in the right place. I'm looking for stage six. No, why? Oh, I'm just dropping off these macaroons to someone here on the lot, and I guess I got turned around. Oh, well. Wait, 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 wait. Did, you, did you say macaroons? Yeah, from Miss Panucci's bakery. Well, why didn't you say so? This is stage six. Hey, is that the Jordan Ramsey? Because I'm like a huge fan. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm actually working for him. I'm his personal assistant. Really? Well, you just look a little young to be a celebrity's personal assistant. Oh, wow, thanks. Yeah, I keep thinking I'm getting old. <laughs> anyway, how much do I owe you for the macaroons? Oh, they were a prepaid. Sweet. Uh, thanks, man. Have a good day. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Uh, do you think I could meet Jordan Ramsey? Uh, I, I would say yes. It's just, um, well, you know, as Jordan you know, tells me all the time, Jason, get back to work. Oh, yeah. Hey, what are you doing? What? Me? Nothing, huh? What? So? You ready to confess? Okay, fine. There was this guy outside. He was making delivery and acted like if I was Jordan's personal assistant. And then I told him he was in the right place, even though he was in the um, wrong No, I'm, I mean for the confessional. You know, your reaction to everything that's going on. Ah, uh, the, the camera. The confessional. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Cool. D did you want to finish that story you were telling me, or? Nah, it, it wasn't important. Here it is. The moment of truth. Let's begin with Michael's macarons. Oh, very good job. These look lovely. The feet are lifted to perfection. Just the right amount of filling. And the edges are smooth all around. Mm. This is the real test. Mmm, delicious. Do I taste a hint of Earl Grey? Yep, I love Earl Grey. And look at the cross section. Almost no hollows. Good job. Now, Jason, let's see what you've prepared. A bee! I must say, I was a little worried about you at first. It seems like you've really turned yourself around. These look like they came straight from one of my favorite bakeries. Oh, I know. I guess I just saved the best for last. Wow, this is really good. Hmm. This is going to be a difficult challenge to judge. You two are really going places. The question is, who's going to first place? No, it's hard to choose. I have an idea. I'd like to see each of your techniques. Why don't we review the hidden cameras? Uh, h hidden cameras? What are you? What are you? What are you talking about? Yeah, we put them up on your cooking stations to get some close-ups. Whilst you think we had fake avocados there. I'll pull everything up on the monitor. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why don't you just judge our food by how it tastes? Who cares about technique? 
Um, I do. Excellent technique, Martha. Very impressive. Let's pull up Jason's footage. We really don't need to see that. How about we just move on? Wow. I'm shocked. What, uh, what seems to be the problem? I've never seen this happen before in all my years directing these shows. This is a huge problem. I, I can explain. You see, I, um, uh... I'm sorry, everyone. It looks like our hidden camera on Jason's cooking station somehow broke. It didn't capture any footage after the first few seconds. Oh, let's go! Let's, let's go back to the competition. It's all right. I still think I can decide. I think I want to win. Good choice. Well, thank you both for being an amazing part of our first season of Kids Cook Off. Our very first winner, who will receive a $10,000 cash prize and a free ride to the culinary school of his choice is... Jason? Is there a Jason here? What now? I'm looking for a Jason. And who are you? I came to deliver something, but I gave it to the wrong person. So I'm... Oh. My. Goodness. <laughs> you are Jordan Ramsey. Uh, excuse me, we're trying to tape a show here, and uh, no fans are allowed, so please um, get lost. It's you! Hey, I need that delivery back. What's going on? Do you know this man? I've never seen this guy in my life. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm the guy who gave you that order from Miss Panucci's bakery. You said you were Mr. Ramsey's assistant. I don't understand. What's he talking about? I just got a call from my boss who's mad at me for not delivering the macaroons to the right person. There they are. Oh, what? There's a bite taken out of one of them. Where's the box? Jason, did you really make those macaroons? Uh, she thing is, you know, when I went outside and I called my dad, the delivery guy just happened. Do you have any idea how much you've messed up my television? I'm sorry. So don't interrupt me, you donut. Did you really think you're going to get away with this? Sneaking food into a televised cooking competition? How lazy is that? You're so lazy, you make a sloth look like an Olympic athlete. How insanely foolish have you got to be? You should know there are no shortcuts to success. You have to do things the hard way. So does this mean I lost or like... Do I have to make it any more obvious? You're forgetting something. My apron. All right, let's just get the coverage of me giving the win to Michael now. I'm terribly sorry about this. If you need a call to your boss, you won't get in trouble. To be honest, even if I lost my job, I don't care. I just really want a picture with you. Is that cool? Of course. Who are you? I'm Jenny's dad. And what's this I hear you call me a doofus? What are you doing? I was just about to clean the television. With the window cleaner? Are you trying to ruin the TV? I, I didn't realize we couldn't use that. My mistake. Mistakes aren't good for returning business. You're lucky the homeowner wasn't here to see that or else we would never get hired again. You know, there's no room on my team for incompetence. You don't need to point your finger. Yes, Lisa, I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Gabby's new. I should have kept a better eye on her. It won't happen again. I promise. Isn't that right, Mija? I think your mom asked you a question, Mija. It won't happen again. Good. Angelica. Please tell your daughter what I expect of my employees and that I only want the best. 
unreliable staff will not be tolerated. Now, Angelica, please clean up in here and be a good girl and head on over to the bedroom and get that done, okay? Diviartan san limpiando. I'm working on my Spanish. <sighs> Be a good girl and finish the bedroom. Diviértanse limpiando. I can't stand her. Happy, why are you trying to get us fired? Hello, Miss Maldonado. This is Steve with Credit Union Plus, calling about your outstanding balance on your car. Please give me a... Hey, 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 hey. That pillow is not Lisa. Wish it was. Oh, she just gets me so heated, you know? Gabby, stop it. She could come back, you know. And you already know how she feels about us talking as it is. Well, she shouldn't be treating us that way. I don't know why you never say anything. You've been here a lot longer than I have. Trust me, it's a lot better to stay on her good side. I've seen her fire people for smaller mistakes than you've made. So? Let her fire me. It's not like she pays us much anyway. We can't even keep up with their bills as it is. And you think not having a job is going to make things better? In this economy, it's not the right time to be looking for a new job. You said anything about looking. What if, instead of working for someone else, we worked for ourselves and started our own cleaning business? We already do all the work around here anyway. ¿De qué estás hablando? Think about it. We could set our own rates and hours. And best of all, no boss. Mm, and no money, too. It's not a good time to be starting a new business. Now get back to cleaning before we get into trouble. I don't understand you. Why do you want to stay in this situation? Barely getting by, always having debt collectors calling you? Don't you want a new car or a new house or a new life? Oh, of course I do. Who doesn't? You don't think I had the American dream when I was younger, just like you, full of ideas? But life doesn't work out that way, mija. Not for people like us. And how are you so sure? Because of my own experience. You see, when I was young, I was full of dreams. I never liked the feeling of, of working for someone else and always wanted to start my own business. So one day, I did. I started selling my own tacos. I spent all my money getting all the supplies ready and I thought I'd get a lot of customers, but they never came. Before long, the bills started piling up, and within a few months, not only was I out of business, but I had no job and no income. So you see, mija, I've already tried everything that you're saying, but it didn't work. So please, let's just get back to cleaning. Just because it didn't work out the first time, mama, doesn't mean it won't work out the second or third or fourth or however many times. You should never give up on a dream because of how long it takes. Javi, it's too risky, mija. And, and we're already behind on all of our bills as it is. This is not a good time to start a business. Now, please, let's just get back to work before this. What's going on here, ladies? I didn't offer you a break. I'm so sorry, Lisa. We were just slacking off because that's what you were doing. And you haven't even made up the bed yet. You know, on top of being slow, I'm sorry I think you're gonna run before your mom. Maybe I should separate you two. Or maybe I should just quit. What? I mean, no, 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 no. I'm so sorry, she doesn't mean it. Oh, I definitely meant it. I don't need this job. I definitely don't need the way you treat me. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I'll talk to her when oh, I... Oh, don't bother. She will never work for me ever again. Unless she begs for forgiveness. But what about you? You gonna join her? No, Senora Lisa. I need my job. That's what I thought. 
clean this place up ahora. While Angelica stays at her job, Gabby's determined to succeed on her own. She uses the little money she has to print flyers and promote her new cleaning company. She was so excited at first, eager to market her business and get new clients. But it doesn't take her long to realize that no one seems to care about her cleaning services. Without any customers, Gabby starts to lose some of her confidence. Desperate to make things work, she even starts going door to door looking for jobs. But she ends up getting the door slammed in her face. After a while, she starts to realize that maybe her dream just wasn't meant to be. With nowhere else to go, Gabby goes to the only place she can think of. Mija, what are you doing here? I'm working by now, I can't talk. I didn't come here to talk to you. I, I came here to talk to Lisa, to hopefully get my job back. What are you talking about? What about the business you started? Let's just say you were right. Things didn't work out and I'm desperate for money, so you can just let Lisa know that it came here to beg for your job back, did you? <laughs> here you are, Cheryl. And here you are, Angelica. Uh, thank you. So, is that why you're here? You're wrong. Uh, Gabby came to see me to give me something. I I'm going to walk her to the parking lot and, and I'll be right back. Uh, Mama? Mija, let's talk outside. Don't take long, Angelica. And this counts as one of your breaks. You missed a spot. I don't understand you. Why would you ruin my chances at getting my job back with Lisa? Gabby, what did you tell me that day about how if things don't work out the first time, you just gotta keep on trying? Yeah, well, I've tried everything. You have no idea how many flyers I've handed out and doors I've knocked on, nothing worked. Mija, yeah, then, then okay, so then you try a second time and a third time and a I've fourth time. I've tried a hundred times. Then try a hundred and one. Because remember, you're the one who told me you should never give up on your dreams just because of how long it takes. Yeah, well, even if I wanted to, I have no money left. I'm completely broke, which is why I need this job. Then here. It's not much, but maybe you can do something with it. No, Mommy, you need this. You're already in a bad situation as it is. Listen to me. I gave up too soon and I'm not gonna let you do the same. Angelica! Break time's over. I, I got to go back to work, so please take it and go and do what I couldn't. Gracias, Mommy. I love you. I'm gonna make you proud one day. You already do, Mija. You already do. Angelica! With the encouragement from her mom, Gabby once again is motivated to go after her dream again. She uses the money her mom gave her to print more flyers and gets right back to passing them out. She even goes back to knocking on doors but this time, when she gets told no, she doesn't let that discourage her. She keeps on going until eventually she gets a yes. Gabby can't believe it. Before she knows it, Gabby has gotten lots of yeses. She picks up many new customers and the money starts rolling in. Several months later, she decides to pay her mom a visit. Wow, how beautiful you look! What are you doing here? Just came to talk to you about something. I can't really talk right now. I'm working. And if Lisa catches, catches me... You don't have to worry about Lisa anymore. Because you 
are no longer cleaning or wearing that uniform. You are gonna come run this business with me and manage all of our employees. Employees? De que estás hablando? I have a lot of different people working for me now, mamá. And because none of this would have been possible without you, I want you to help me run this business as my partner. You mean? Yeah, everything worked out like we talked about. All because you convinced me not to give up. And have one more surprise. Angelica, I'm really getting tired of catching you. Wait, what is she doing here? And I'm tired of how you talk to me, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Ah. Watch your tone, Angelica, or you know what the consequences will be. What, you're going to fire me? Well, you don't have to because I quit. You can mop these floors yourself. Okay, wait, hold on, Angelica, hold on. Are you sure about this? No, I don't normally stop people, but you're my best employee, my best cleaner, and I'm already staffed as it is. Well, maybe your employees wouldn't be coming to me asking for jobs if you treated them better. You took my employees? Yep. And now I'm taking one more with me. She's gonna help me run the business. You're going to help run the business? Ah! <laughs> your age? Well, okay. Yes, and as someone just reminded me, you should never give up on your dreams just because of how long it takes. Goodbye, Lisa. Uh, have fun cleaning. Whose car is that? It's yours, Mama. I paid off all your debt and got you this Porsche so you don't have to worry about the collector calls. I, I'm sorry it's used. I love it, mija! Oh my god! Thank you so much, amiga! Oh my Is everything all right? No, everything is not all right. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, was the noise too loud? <laughs> you think? I was over there trying to relax and you are ruining it for me. Gosh, I, I'm sorry. How, how would you like it if I came into your house making all of this noise while you were trying to relax? I, I don't know. To be honest, I never really get to relax. Oh, but if I did, I probably wouldn't like that. Yeah, exactly. Now, just rake over there. Go ahead and use it so you don't make so much noise. But that'll take me way longer. Then you better get started. Huh? Get to it. Yeah, did you guys see how crazy that game was? Dude, so for hard. sure, yeah. Not Boys, <laughs> pizza's here. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Smile. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so since your friends are here, maybe you guys all can help me put up the Christmas lights. It'll save me a lot of time. What do you say? Nah, we're busy. Uh, you know what? You should ask him. Yeah. Adam, unlike you, is working. Why is he using that rake? <laughs> I 
<laughs> hey, Adam, how come you're not using the blower? It'd be much faster. I, I just didn't want to disturb them with all the noise. The blower's pretty loud. Oh, please. Oh, they have it easy enough. There's no need to make it harder on yourself. It, it really isn't a problem. If you say so. Hey, <laughs> do you think if I gave you like 50 bucks, you'd be able to help me put the lights up when you're done? Wait, seriously? Y yeah, of course. That actually helped me out a lot. Help you? Yeah, I'm saving up money to buy a PlayStation 5 for Christmas. So any extra money really makes a difference. Wow. <laughs> and to think, I'm just giving Jason one while he just sits by the pool and eats pizza all day. Oh, uh, by the way, have you eaten anything? Uh, no, but I'm fine. <laughs> Thanks for asking. You've been out here all day. You must be hungry. Go grab your slice. Uh, I really wouldn't want to take any of their food. I bought an extra large. They're not going to finish it. Go, I insist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> no, exactly. Oh, yeah, we could just like hop in after that. I mean, I'm pretty sure Maddie's house, they're having a party. What do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, do you guys mind if I grab a slice? Your mom said there was extra. No, no, there's not. Okay, and don't put your filthy hands all over our food without asking. Give me that. I'm sorry. Uh, you're right. I should have asked. What are you doing over here anyway, huh? I mean, aren't you supposed to be over there working or something? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just taking a little break before I help your mom put the lights up. <laughs> break, okay. You're getting paid, right? Uh, yeah, why? So then why would you expect us to feed you? <laughs> I mean, don't your parents care enough to give you lunch? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, it's, it's a long story. Mm -hmm. Sounds to me like you're taking advantage. No, that's not it at all. I... You know what? Never mind. I'm sorry I asked. Watch this. Hey, wait! Look, man. I feel bad now, all right? You can have the slice of pizza. Are you sure? Yeah, man, here. Take it. <laughs> All right, thanks. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? Back to work. Um, mm, aren't you in charge of cleaning the pool? Yeah. Ah, well then, um, the net is over there, so uh, if I were you, I would go ahead and hurry up, and get to cleaning. Chop, chop. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for your help. Oh, yeah, it's really no problem at all. I'm just gonna run in real quick and grab some more lights. All right, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Bro! What kind of throw was that, man? You could have still caught it. <sighs> Yeah, right, man. Dude, you need to learn how to throw a football. <laughs> Dude, I can throw a football way better than you can. Bro, you're crazy. No, look, Robbie, who's the better thrower? Uh, I don't know. Why don't you guys compete for it? Okay, how? Yep. Um, you know, pick a target so you can throw the closest. That's your idea. Okay, uh... uh. Oh. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> oh! Oh! You got him! Oh, that was a good one. Jason! <laughs> ah! I can't believe you just did that! Get over here! You're in a lot of trouble! Ooh, 
Ooh, someone's in trouble. <coughs> Be it that, guys. Oh my gosh. Are you all right, sweetheart? I felt pretty hard, but I think I'll be okay. What were you thinking? Sorry, look, we were playing a game. At Adam's expense? I am so, so sorry. I didn't raise him to be this way. Can I get you an ice pack or no. anything? No, I'll, I'll be okay, I promise. Okay. Uh. you like it if you were working on someone's house and they threw a football at you? Uh, I don't know, because I would never be working at someone's house in the first place. You're not a laborer. Clearly not. All you do is just hang out, while Adam is out here working hard. Do you know why he's doing this? To save for a PS5 for Christmas, while you're just getting one handed to you. Look, it's not my fault that we're rich. He's poor. Jason, what is wrong with you? Hey, hey, I'm just telling the truth. See, that is exactly the problem. I have spoiled you too much. And now you become entitled. Look, it's not a big deal. I promise. I'm just gonna get back to hanging the lights. No, no, you're not. Because Jason here is gonna do it for you. What? <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that's not my job. Oh, it is now, along with a whole lot of other things. Going forward, you're going to do the work while Adam here relaxes. <laughs> okay, okay, Mom. <laughs> Look, I'll be by the pool if you need me. It's either that or no PlayStation for Christmas. What? No, no, you already got me a PlayStation. Mm hmm and uh, I can return it just as easily. What? No, 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 you know how long I have been hunting a PS5. Well, you better get to work then, huh? Honestly, it's fine. Not gonna lie, I, I need the money. So I, I'd rather just do it myself. Don't worry, you're still getting paid, okay? As will you, the same amount as Adam. As long as it covers the PS5, then you'll be able to get it. You have to be kidding me, right? Do I look like I'm kidding? So? What's it gonna be? This sucks! You can start with the lights here. Come on, Adam. I'll make you something to eat. Really? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> like turkey? Uh, yeah. Jason is not happy. For the first time, he's about to learn the meaning of hard work. As he puts up the Christmas lights, he quickly sees it's not as easy as it looks. All the lights come crashing down and he has to start all over. With Adam gone, Jason now has to take care of the yard. He dislikes every second of it, especially when things get harder. Jason now also has to take care of the pool. He sees it's not as fun when he's the one having to clean it. After working hard and being the one responsible for everything, Jason finally starts to realize just how hard Adam's job really is. Hey, how'd it go? Horrible. Oh, my back hurts. I'm all dirty and sweaty. It was not fun. Well, I will say that I am proud of you. And? After today, you have officially earned your Christmas present. Seriously? Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. It's not like you don't already know what's in there. 
Thanks, Mom. All right, well, I'm headed over to Adam's to give him his Christmas card. You know where he lives? Yeah. I had to mail his last check. Why? You want to come? Sure. Uh, you know what? I'll open this up later. Can I help you? Hi. I was wondering if Adam's home. He takes care of our yard. I was hoping to give him his Christmas card. Oh, he's not here. Oh. He's at the hospital. Oh my gosh. I hope he's okay. He's there to see his brother. I see. Well, we'll keep your family in our prayers. I'll just see him another time. Thank you. Well, you could take it to him there if you want. He's at Summit in room 213, if you want to visit him. OK. Thank you so much. And it was nice meeting you. Bye, dear. been by far the worst Christmas we've ever had. But I still got you a present. You did? Yeah. Sorry I didn't get a chance to wrap it, but I got you a PS5. Wait, what, what, you did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel terrible that you have to spend the holidays in here, so I thought this might help. Thank you so much. You're the best big brother ever. <laughs> You're welcome. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. oh, hey guys. Uh, what are you guys doing here? Sorry to intrude. Your grandmother told us you were at the hospital, so we just wanted to check in on you. Oh, that, that's nice. I'm just here visiting my little brother. Uh, so the PS5 you were saving up for was for him? Yeah. I feel bad he's stuck in here, so I wanted to give him something to cheer him up. That is so nice of you, Adam. Do you mind if, if I ask what happened? Uh, well, last month, um, my family got into a car accident. And my parents didn't make, make it. Oh my gosh. My little brother was the only one who survived. He's been in the hospital ever since. <laughs> I wasn't in the car, but I would have done anything to have traded places with him. <sighs> I hate seeing him like this. I am so sorry. I can't believe what you guys are going through. I'm so sorry too for how awful I treated you. Thanks. I've been trying my best to deal with it all while staying strong for my brother. Sorry, um, I, I need you for a second. Uh, yeah, no problem. Anyway, I, I gotta go. Yeah. Of course, of course. But 
Thanks for checking in upon me. Of course. Oh, and I brought a Christmas card for you. Wow. Thanks. We'll come back and see you, if that's okay. That would be great. There you go, Grandma. Happy holidays. Thanks, sweetheart. Happy holidays. Uh, one second, Grandma. Hey, man. Uh, what are you doing here? I uh, actually decided Bring you your Christmas present. You got me a, a, a present? Yeah, I uh, I decided I wanted to give you my PS5. What? No, no, no. I, I couldn't possibly take that. I insist. I do you deserve it a lot more than I do. Are you sure? I mean, this is so expensive. Gosh, I mean, no, I feel bad. I, I didn't get you anything. Honestly, don't worry about it. I mean, you, you gave me more than I could have ever asked for. I did? Yeah, man. I mean, you taught me kindness and, and hard, hard work. Look, I'm not taking no for an answer. Hope you enjoy. Happy holidays. Uh, wait. Do you want to come in? You know, so we can play? <laughs> really? Uh... Go ahead. <laughs> I'll pick you up in a couple of hours. All right, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> go again, play. No, please. Please don't leave me, no. Hey, Hazel, 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 it's okay. It's just a dream. Um, don't worry about it. I'll take care of everything. You just go, Dad. Please go, Dad. Hey, Hazel, did you know you smell like pee? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Maybe that's why your mom left. She couldn't stand the stench. <laughs> <laughs> guys, 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 watch. <laughs> what is going on here? Riley, did you pour your water on her? She needed a bath. I was just trying to help. Unacceptable. <laughs> Are you kidding, Hazel? Wipe that smile off your face. You'll be spending the day in detention.
Hazel. Your school call today. You seem really worried, you know. You stole some girl's food? Hazel. I was hungry. What do you want me to do? I know. I'm sorry that I, I didn't put credits into your account. You know, I've been thinking, maybe it's best just for a little while that you live with someone else. I don't know who, but anywhere's gotta be better than this. What? You trying to get rid of me? Oh no, Hazel, honey, no, I would never. You know that I love you so much. It's just like, I just think it would be a better idea if I wait to get a full-time job so I could be in a better position to provide for you. Great. Another parent who doesn't want me. Hey, that is not true, Hazel. And for the record, your mom leaving had nothing to do with you. Look, we were young and we were struggling when we had you. And your mom, she was fighting other demons. But none of them had anything to do with you. Yeah, right. Just go ahead and shit me off and get it over with. Hey. hey. Thompson? I'm Andrea, a caseworker with Child Protective Services. Is it okay if I talk to you for a minute? Sure. I'm here because it was brought to my attention that your daughter Hazel has been stealing food from school. Does she not have enough to eat? Yes. Yeah. yeah, she does. Are you employed, Mr. Thompson? If it's all right with you, I'd like to come in and ask Hazel a few questions. Actually, um, right now is not a good time. I understand. I'll try to come back another time then. There's no easy way to say this, but you're going to have to go live with my Aunt Angel for a while. It's just temporary until I figure some things out. No way. I told you I don't want to live anywhere else. I want to live here with you. I can't even live here anymore. We got an eviction notice this morning. I'll be sleeping in the car. Then I'll sleep in the car, too. It doesn't matter to me. Just please don't leave me. CPS came here this morning. If they find out that you're living in a car, they'll take you away from me. God, I know this is hard. But I promise that I'm going to come back for you. I promise. Just, just go pack your things. You're just like Mom. Hey.
So your Aunt Angel, she used to be married to my Uncle Joe, who passed away. We were never really close, you know. She really distanced herself from the family after going through something traumatic. Traumatic? What happened to her? Aunt Angel, so good to see you. This is my daughter, Hazel, the, the one I've been telling you about. I'll uh, leave you two alone to say your goodbyes. Oh, Connie. I'm gonna be back real soon, okay? I love you so much. Well, I, I hate you! Your room is down the hallway. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, this one's off limits. Yours is at the end of the hall to the left. You can uh, put your clothes in the dresser there. Are those all the clothes you brought? This is all I have. I think they'll fit you. Thanks. Whose are these? Oh. Uh. Good morning. Would you like some breakfast? I have uh, oatmeal, uh, turkey bacon, eggs. Do you have pancakes? I... Uh, pancakes, yes. Um, chocolate chip pancakes. I... I don't have chocolate chips, but I could run to the store. Oh, that's okay. Plain is fine. Thank you. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Uh, the store is only a few minutes away. Really, it's no big deal, I promise. Uh, I have time. Ooh, that's a beautiful flower.
I also wet the bed until an embarrassingly old age. To be honest, sometimes I still do. So there's nothing for you to worry about, okay? <laughs> Thanks for the new clothes and for letting me stay here. You're most welcome, dear. I know this is hard for both of us, but I was thinking, let's make the most of the time we have together. I'd like that very much. <laughs> The northern lights flash Took a photograph on a Paris street Have you ever climbed a tall tree? Asked someone for mercy Gave something away that wasn't free I don't wanna get a vision of you stuck in my head Because I know that you were meant to be wilder Another night of television while you're lying in bed It's slowly gonna be the death of you Sweetie, I'm so proud of you. So should I make you some pancakes? Yeah, that'd be great. <sighs> oh no, I forgot we just ran out of chocolate chips. I'll run to the store. I promise I won't be long. No, no, honestly, I'm fine without them. Just regular pancakes are good. Oh, it's really no big deal, you know? Just give me a minute, Lily. Uh, uh, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I need a minute. What are you doing here? I'm here to pick you up. I, I got a job in an office, we got our apartment back, so we can go home now. You don't get to pick and choose when you want me in your life. I'll come back when I feel like it. Hey, no, we... This Woody... I love you. I, I don't... I want the best for you. Everything. Well, I still hate you.
She was 16 in that photo. I'm so sorry. I know you said this room was off limits. It's okay. Really. I'm sorry about all that earlier. You being here has stirred up a lot of emotion. Is that Lily in the photo? Yes. Do you mind me asking what happened? Um. She was my whole world. And then my whole world came crashing down. You see, I was a good mom, a busy mom, but I always made time for Lily the best I could. Oh, good morning, honey. Look, we made you pancakes. Why are they spoon? What do you mean? Where are the chocolate chips? She loved pancakes just like you. But that morning, I was in a rush and forgot to add chocolate chips. It's so late. I, I don't have time to, to do it again. No, remake them. them. She asked me if I'd remake them, but I just didn't have time, so she refused to eat the ones I made. No, I'm not eating that. We had an argument. I told her she was ungrateful. You're ungrateful. And she called me a bad mom. It's so sad that something so small turned into something so big. She stormed out. Hey, Lily. I didn't want her to leave like that, so before she left, I stopped her. Hey, Lily, look, I'm sorry. I love you, okay? I hate you. <laughs> Those are the last words Lily ever said to me. She never made it back from school. She was riding her bike and, and his car just, oh God. <laughs> so, so you see Hazel, we'll always have our differences with those we love. But it's important to remember that tomorrow isn't promised to anyone. So we should tell people we love that we love them today. I still can't get over the, the last words Lily ever said to me was that she hated me. I like your shirt. Thanks. It reminds me of a former student of mine. What was her name? Lily. Lily Thompson, that's it. Mm. She used to like to wear an orange lily in her hair every day. She was a great student. So sad what wind up happening to her. Miss Davis, this may sound crazy, but I think Lily and I were related. Really? I'm actually staying with her mom, and she just told me the story. Oh, dear. I can't imagine what she went through. It seems that her and Lily were really close. I still think about the letter that Lily wrote to her mom on the day she passed on. Letter? What did it say? I can show it to you if you like. Oh, here it is. I didn't have the heart to throw it out. Did you ever show this to Lily's mom? I figured it would make her a lot sadder. I didn't. Can you tell me what else happened that day? Okay, everyone. Today, I want to try something a little different. Today, I want each of you to write down one thing you're grateful for. I'll give you some time. Go ahead.
What's wrong, Lily? Can't think of anything you're grateful for? I can think of someone I'm not grateful for, that's for sure. Okay, and who's that? My mom. She knows that I love chocolate chip pancakes, but for whatever reason, she decided to make them, like, plain this morning. And then when I asked her to remake them, she said no. She can't, she has no time. It's just so annoying. At least your mom cooks you breakfast. I wish mine did. Same. My mom never has any time for me. I always have to make it myself. You're lucky. Guess I hadn't thought of it that way before. Yeah, well, now it sounds like you found something to be grateful for. I'm grateful for my mom. She's my best friend and she does so much for me. I feel super bad that I told her I hate her this morning. But I just want her to know. I love her very much. <laughs> Thank you, Hazel. You have no idea how much closure this gives me. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I just got your text. Is everything okay? I am so sorry that I said I hated you. I want you to know that I love you so much, Dad. I love you so much, honey. I love you so much. Hazel. <laughs> 